I love Chinese, and especially Chinese characters. A Chinese character can be like a picture, telling a whole concept, a story, an idea, a philosophy even, that cannot be translated into one word. And learning Chinese is like playing with Lego blocks. You take this one Lego block, put it together with the other, and you make something new. Then you take that one off, put it in something else, and then it becomes something new again. And those tiny Lego blocks that give meaning to a character, that tell it to which group a character belongs, is a radical. And you guessed it, this video is another installment of Building Character. This time we're going to look at the meat radical. Now first look at the character for meat. And the pronunciation is Zhou. Zhou. In Pin it's R-O-U. And this series is not about pronunciation, but pronunciation is very important. So the R in Pin is pronounced as Zhi. Not z or l, which you will sometimes hear, even native speakers, depending on which area of China or Taiwan or any other Chinese speaking country they come from, but it's pronounced zhi. So zhi o zhi, fourth tone. Fine, we have that out of the way. Where can we find this character? Meat or flesh words. First, the usual suspect. Pork is zhu rou, zhu rou. Beef is niu rou, niu rou. Are you seeing a pattern here? The animal and then the zhou. So in Chinese, you just say pig meat. In English, you say pork. Cow meat. In English, it is beef. So mutton would be yang rou, yang rou. And chicken is Ji rou, ji rou. And it's not only the meat from animals, but also the flesh from fruit. That will be guo rou, guo rou. Guo from shui guo and rou, the meat, the pulp. Guo rou. Now we come to the radical. And the radical looks like this. Does this look familiar? Maybe some of you say, I've seen this before. That is Yue Moon. Wrong. And even native speakers don't always know that radical is the meat radical. They call it the moon radical. It is not. It is the meat radical. And this radical is used for things that have to do with flesh, with your body as in organs. Nei zang is the word for organs. Some organs, wei, stomach. Du zi, which is your belly. So wei is the actual organ inside your stomach. And du zi is your whole belly, your abdomen. And on a side note, if you say you have a belly ache, you have a tummy ache, you can either say wei tong or you can say du zi tong. And if you take your intestines with it, it's called your chang wei. It means your large intestine, your small intestine, and your stomach all together. Chang wei yen is gastroenteritis, so you have an inflammation of your intestines in your stomach. So this might be useful for you if you are in Taiwan or you are in China and the doctor tells you you have something and he says you have Chang Wei Yen. You understand now what he means by that. Hopefully you don't have it, but it's best to know. Better to be prepared, right? Then you have your Gan Zhang, which is your liver. And then you have your Shen Zhang, 
which is your kidney, and your fei, which is your lungs. It can be one lung or the other lung. In Chinese, whether it's singular or plural, the character and the pronunciation will remain the same. So, fei, fei yan is inflammation of the lungs. Your muscles, qi rou, qi rou. Hey, we heard that one a few minutes ago as well. So when people say bu lou sai er qi rou, it can mean they had some very good chicken when they were in Brussels, or they're talking about chong tong fan dan. The last one, pi fu, pi fu, which is the largest organ in the body, which is your skin. So now you've seen some examples of meat and a meat radical. Find some books, or when you watch the Chinese TV show, or a movie, and you see characters flying by. So try to spot the characters that have that meat radical. So write them down, either on your phone, a piece of paper, wherever, and memorize them, and build your vocabulary. And Build your character. Have fun learning and 继续加油。